We have a breaking news update. Play 31 Stephen Dulcizian joins us live at the scene where the school district confirmed that a student was hit by a car outside of a middle school. Stephen, what do we know at this point? Yeah, guys, that's right. Decatur City Schools says one middle schooler was hit but is expected to do okay, not sustaining any life-threatening injuries. But I want to go behind the camera right now and show you. This is 40 yards away from where that student was hit. This is the intersection of Somerville Road and Beach Street. And this is important because Decatur City Schools says these middle schoolers were taking an alley to go home instead of going here to Beach Street, which is close by to the houses of where they live and they had to take that alley because as you see there's no sidewalk over here now there's a couple of houses along this stretch but Decatur City Schools says this has been a problem right now where there aren't any sidewalks for these students to take so the two students were taking a different route and that's when uh, Doug Satterfield he's with Decatur City Schools tells me uh, one of the two students a seventh grader was hit by a high school student now that injured student was taken to Decatur Morgan Hospital with non life threatening injuries. That's the good news. Satterfield also says there's no charges to be filed against the driver since the driver was going the proper speed and the student darted out in front of him. Satterfield also says, look, there needs to be a sidewalk right here in this exact spot that you're looking at right now because plenty of students take it. In fact, just five minutes ago, I saw a group of three students leaving one of the houses down the street and they're just walking simply in the middle of the road. They're actually, they were just just walking right where these turn only uh, signs are that you see right here. It's a dangerous situation and something that the school is trying to address. As for the injured student right now, I'm going to try and get a little more information on how that student is doing. But for right now, reporting live in Decatur, Stephen Dilsizian, Way 31 News.